Yahudith, Judith, 6. And when the tumult of men that were about the council was ceased, Holofernes, the captain, rather chief captain of the army of Ashur, said unto Achior and all the Moavim, before all the company of the, of, rather, of other nations, And who are you, Achior, and the hirelings of Ephraim, that you have prophesied against us as today, and have said that we should not make war with the people of Yashadael, because their Elohim will defend them. And who is Elohim but Nebuchadnezzar? He will send his power and will destroy them from the face of the earth, and their Elohim shall not deliver them, but we his servants will destroy them as one man, for they are not able to sustain the power of our horses. For with them we will tread them underfoot, and their mountains shall be drunken with their blood, and their fields shall be filled with their dead bodies, and their footsteps shall not be able to stand before us, for they shall utterly perish. Says King Nevakadni Setsar, Lord of all the earth, for he said, None of my words shall be in vain. And you, Achior, a hireling of Amon, which have spoken these words in the day of your iniquity, shall see my face no more from this day, until I take vengeance uh, of this nation that came out of Mitzrayim. And then shall the sword of my army and the multitude of them that serve me pass through your sides, and you shall fall among their slain when I return. Now, therefore, my servants shall bring you back into the hill country and shall set you in one of the cities of the passages, and you shall not perish till you be destroyed with them. And if you persuade yourself in your mind that they shall be taken, let not your countenance fall. I have spoken it, and none of my words shall be in vain. Then Holofernes commanded his servants that waited in his tent to take Achior and bring him to Beit Uriah and deliver him into the hands of the children of Yashadael. So his servants took him and brought him out of the camp into the plain. And they went from the midst of the plain into the hill country and came unto the fountains that were under Beit Uliah. And when the men of the city saw them, they took up their weapons and went out of the city to the top of the hill. And every man that used a sling kept them from coming up by casting of stones against them. Nevertheless, having gotten privily under the hill, they bound Achior and cast him down and left him at the foot of the hill and returned to their Lord. But Yashadael descended from their city and came unto him and loosed him and brought him to Beit Uliah and presented him to the governors of the city which were in those days Uziyahu, the son of Micah, of the tribe of Shimon, and Chabris, the son of Gothon El, and Charmis, the son of Malki El. And they called together all the ancients of the city, and all their youth ran together, and their women, to the assembly, and they set Achior in the midst of all their people. Then Uziyahu asked him of that which was done. And he answered and declared unto them the words of the council of Holofernes, and all the words that he had spoken in the midst of the princes of Ashur, and whatsoever 
Holofer Ness had spoken proudly against the house of Yashar El. Then the people fell down and worshipped Elohim and cried unto Elohim, saying, O Yahuwah Elohim of heaven, behold their pride and pity the lowest state of our nation. and Look upon the face of those that are sanctified unto you this day. Then they comforted Achior and praised him greatly. And Uziyahu took him out of the assembly unto his house and made a feast to the elders. And they called on the Elohim of Yashadael all that night for help.